Welcome back everybody to Den Mill Heritage Farms. Uh, I have my beautiful wife here with me. We just got the pigs into the pig pen and within about five seconds they were all out and loose. Um, he had to call me I had to the rescue. I did and thankfully she was there. Um, <laughs> so let me flip around onto the pig and here they are. They are already doing their thing. So they are cute, they are adorable, and uh, more importantly, they are secure. Um, so I, thankfully the gentleman that I got the pigs from was able to come over um, and he was looking at everything. And, and if you recall, I only had two wires on the fence all the way around and he looked at it and he said you're gonna want to put another line on there he said that's just too big of a gap they're just gonna go right underneath and uh, so thankfully he caught that so I did put that on before I even let them out of the cages and they found the lowest spot on the property apparently uh, looks like there's another one right there that I might need to add a another post in there to take that down a little bit um, but thankfully he was able to avert a really big uh, hassle because had I not had that third line on there and they got out then I had literally no way of containing them um, the electric fence does work for those of you who might be wondering well didn't the electric fence get them well it did um, and then they ran and they ran into the enclosure which was a good thing but then they found that low spot and they just went underneath and ran again and then they were out into that field so they ran into there and all the way down next to the road thankfully some of the cars were driving by and it caused them to stop it kind of scared them a little bit and gave me a chance to get around them and walk them back in and while I was trying to get to them I was able to turn the fence off so they didn't get zapped coming back in um, but we got them they are secure um, I still have to set up their their water but they do have the pond of course so they have water just not what I want them to have it there ready and then their feeding trough. I don't have a lot of food in here because they're going to be they're going to be digging around and rooting around. But I put a little bit of feed in there for when they get a little more hungry. And uh, that is all I got right now. So thank you for joining us again. Thank you for watching this. Um, I will give another update uh, probably in a few days on the pigs and how they're doing and if they're still in the enclosure. So. Have a great one. Thank you again for joining us. God bless you. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And Esther also says. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys.